Okay, welcome back for part nine. Uh, so in this part of the video series, what we're going to do is work on the React router part. So what that means is I need to add navigation to this system here. And what I'm gonna do is use a plugin called React Router. And actually, what you really want to do is use something called React Router DOM, which is the DOM bindings for React Router. So we'll be able to use something like this and then we'll use the browser router stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and install React Router DOM. Uh, I'm gonna save it like so. And while that's loading, I will take you to the docs page. And that is, um, it's under React Trading, React Router, and then under the package React Router DOM, there's docs, guides, quick start. Quick start is where we really want to uh, take a look at this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and import these. And the thing that we're probably gonna do here is we're gonna blow apart this apps, or the app uh, file right here. Um, right now, this is the entire website. You've got the header, you've got the content, you've got whatever footer eventually, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the connected component as well. Um, so really, the way you kind of want to structure a normal React app is you'll have something like each page is a container and then the container loads its components and then the containers are navigated through through the uh, router. So we're going to build that system now. So uh, since this will be a connected component um, or a container is what a lot of people call this. So um, what what some people also call this is smart containers and dumb components. So the the smart um, the smart container is going to have the actual wiring between React and Redux. So I'm just going to make a new file here and I'll call it homepage.js, and I'm going to move everything inside of app into that. So everything in app is going to be home page now. And this class name is going to be home page. And then I'm also going to make a, um, a CSS file. Call this home page. And then app is going to load home page. So app's going to load all of these things doesn't need that, um, doesn't need probably, we can probably keep that, but it's not gonna need any of this, uh, this stuff in here. This is where we will be loading the individual containers. So we'll keep this as like the header, but everything else will be the components down inside of there that we're gonna render. So, I'm going to import home page from container home page. And then we're going to do the same thing when we add an about and a contact page, right? So it's going to be very similar. Uh, got to change all of these references from app to home page right there. And then this stuff can go. We can get rid of this. We don't need this mapping anymore because this is going to be just a simple wrapper component now. We're not using connect anymore. Get rid of connect. Don't need that. Don't need actions. Um, and then, so for now, just to prove this works, I'm gonna load home page in here. So just, just to make sure we're on the right track and that I didn't break anything, um, I'm going to do all this. So. Of course, I just changed all of these directory structures when I created that container. So those are now up one. The rest of this should be the same though. So let's make sure that I didn't blow anything up. I'm just gonna restart this since we made a big change here. Okay, should be fine, I believe. Yeah, so it's a little bit fine. Uh, it's got this, um, this double header here, but that's fine. We uh, we can just remove that. I think we don't need this anymore. 
Um, we don't need that. Uh, this, there was some CSS in here that had very little to do with the app and more to do with um, this specific stuff. So we're gonna move that into homepage CSS and then this main content container, I'm gonna call that homepage container. And then this homepage will be the homepage container. And then everything will load into this main content container here. So let's make sure, okay, everything looks good. We've still got this stuff working well. So that is all nice and cleaned up now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is create another component in here and I'm gonna call it about page. So we'll create a new file, I'll call it about. And this is gonna be very simple. It's just gonna be const about. Um, it's not even gonna have any props. It's just gonna be a very simple component. Although this is where you would create a, a, a connected component if you were going to. You'd have all of these containers be connected component. It just so happens though that for this simple about page, about fpv build calc uh, h2 blah blah and then I'm gonna uh, just export default about okay nothing bad happened uh, we do need to load react so every time you make a new um, file here that's using react you need to load react into the context um, I think that would be about it I'll just make a class name on here and I'll call this you know um, about container app CSS we can save I just removed some stuff um, so that should all be good now we kind of clean up the structure I think now we can start actually looking at react router and how to use it so again, I had that React Router quick start guide. So we're gonna take a look here at the um, at this import statement. Did I get those? No, I did not. Let me grab these. So there we go. React Router DOM is now available. Um, so let's let's kind of deconstruct what they're doing here. Um, loading in the browser router, a route, and a link, and that's all from this React Router. And now I've kind of got my pages as home, about, and a topics. Uh, so my this basic example is what's actually getting exported in here. So that's going to be whole app, I'm guessing. And then you have a router. The router has these links. And then you have the routes that link to a component. So when you click one of these routes, uh, these links are going to correspond to this route. So this link link to is the two is what the path is going to correspond to here and then the component that will be loaded is here so hopefully that makes sense um, now the thing that that I want to show here is um, inside of this uh, topic here there are, we're actually loading routes also or uh, sorry topics um, and that's that's kind of like a matcher that's loading topics based on a match. So that's a little bit more complicated, but we're going to build something even way simpler than that. So let's go back and do, let's start, let's create a router here. Let's just start with creating a router. So I'll put this router and we're going to have home and we're going to have about. That's all there's going to be. And then I will import, import about, about, there we go. And don't be surprised if this breaks for some reason. There we go, home is not defined. All right, uh, that's because it's called homepage, uh, not camel cased. There we go. And I'm going to take a look in here and look at about. All right, so it looks like it worked. Now let's make sure our state is preserved just in case there was some funkiness there. 
So now I've added three products or four products. And if I switch to about and come back, my state should be preserved. And it is. So there is our router. Uh, and here are our links. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the router wrap the entire app here like so. And then I'm going to move these links up into here, into the header. And let's just make sure I didn't screw anything up. Probably did, but oh well. Uh, okay, and I think this app intro can go. That can be put into the home page or the about page or something. And then I think I need one more closing div here. No, HR can go. Okay. Router may only have one shot element. Got it. Okay, so we have a problem. Um, let's just, let's go one, up, one level up, put that whole thing in the router. Okay. We've got the header, we've got the div, we've got the ending divs. Um, We've got the that div. Oh, seems like it only has one shot element now. So curious. All right, yeah. So now it is good. Uh, what I want to do now is go into Material UI. Uh, material UI, and I want to load kind of like a menu system. Let's see what they've got for us. Let me see. Definitely there's toolbar. Toolbar is probably what we want to use. So I'll go ahead and grab this uh, toolbar thing. It just looks a little bit complicated for what I want to do. Um, what about snack bar? They have a lot of nice creative names here, but it makes it hard to figure out what they actually do. Yeah, I think we're going to go with toolbar, maybe app bar. I guess we could go with app bar. Uh, this is probably not what we want. Although it, it could be, uh, let's let's stick with toolbar. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy all this stuff. So I need. It looks like I'm gonna need all of this stuff. Just like an insane amount of stuff here. Let me make sure that okay. It compiled still, so that's good. And then I'm going to kind of copy this whole toolbar here. Um, and I'll put it into the header and we'll start we'll start uh, subbing all this stuff out. I think so I think we don't want any drop down. I don't care about any drop down. And what is this weird menu item thing? We can get rid of that icon menu that can go. Uh, this raised button, I think it, all we're essentially going to need to do is just put these links up here. So let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if that'll work. Um, yeah.
and then we'll put about up there. There we go, about. And it's another toolbar group. So that's probably good right there. Uh, get rid of this stuff. And maybe I can put um, maybe I can put all of this stuff into the toolbar group. So there's more space for the build calculator. Yeah. So I'll probably end up doing something like this. Um, it's going to look like crap for a minute, but for this video, the idea is just to get the router to work. Get rid of that. All right, so we're going to fix this stuff, but basically, here's home, here's about, and now you can navigate between them. Uh, the, um, the main thing I had to do was I had to create a router. And then inside of that, I created the routes, and the routes have components linked to them. These components are going to be the connected components that you link to Redux, or basically they're going to be a page object. So this is going to be your main wrapper that you wrap an entire page in. And then you stick these pages in the components, and then you'll use the link. Again, this link is coming from React Router DOM. And then if you use that link, it's going to navigate correctly with the router. So that is adding in the React Router. Thanks for watching.